Mystics, and we are live on Miami Community Radio. So the affirmation that Thomas and I picked today is, I am guided in my every step by spirit who leads me towards what I must know and do.
So for today's meditation, I wanted to do a love meditation. I feel that this is very important because love is the building blocks of many things. Creation, connection, so many things. First, make yourself comfortable. You can lie on your back with a bolster under your knees and a folded blanket behind your head or sit comfortably, perhaps on a blanket. For additional support, feel free to sit against a wall or in a chair. If you're laying down, feel the connection between the back of your body and the mat. If you're seated, lengthen up your spine, broaden your collarbones, and let your hand rest on your thighs. Once you're settled, close your eyes or soften your gaze and tune into your breath. Inhale through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. Continue to take deep, full breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you breathe, become aware of the state of your body and the quality of your mind. Where is your body holding tension? Do you feel closed off or shut down emotionally? Where is your mind? Is it wandering or is it at home within the breath? Is your mind at ease or filled with restlessness, negativity, and doubt? Place both hands over your heart and continue to inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Ask yourself, how does it feel to place my hands over this tender area, this place where I experience love for self and others? Let your breath become more smooth and effortless and begin to breathe in and out through your nose. Feel the flow of air moving into your lungs and then back out into the world. With each exhale, imagine you are releasing any negative thoughts that may be lingering in your mind. Continue to focus on your breath. On each inhale, think, I am worthy. And on each exhale, I am enough. Inhale, I am worthy. Exhale, I am enough. Inhale, I am worthy. Exhale, I am enough. Let each inhale draw in self-love and each exhale release what is no longer serving you. Take a few minutes to breathe and recite this mantra internally. Notice how you feel as you say these words to yourself. If your mind wanders at any point, know that it's okay. It's the nature of the mind to wander. Simply bring your attention back to the breath. Notice how your thoughts become and go, whether positive or negative, and simply allow them to pass on like clouds floating in the sky. Now, visualize yourself standing in front of a mirror and look into your own eyes. What do you see? Pain and sadness? Love? Enjoy neutrality. Regardless of what appears in the reflection, tell yourself, I love you. You are beautiful. You are worthy of happiness. Know that what you see in the mirror in this point may be different from what you see the next time you look. Imagine 
Now that you could breathe into your heart and visualize love pouring out of your hands and into your heart, let this love warm and permeate you from your heart center, filling the rest of your body. Let this love warm and permeate you from your heart center, filling the rest of your body. Feel a sense of comfort and calm traveling up through your chest, into your neck and head, out into your shoulders, arms and hands, and then down into your ribs, belly, pelvis, legs and feet. Allow a sensation of warmth to fill you from head to toe. Breathe here and know that love is always available for you when you need it. When you're ready, take a few more deep, mindful breaths. Softly open your eyes, sit for a few minutes to acknowledge the unique experience you had during this meditation. Refer back to this practice or any other resource you may have whenever you feel a need to create a loving space for yourself. This is a beautiful opportunity to learn something new about yourself and tune into your physical and emotional needs. Let self-love enable you to build a stronger relationship with yourself and allow you to show up more fully in your own life. Today's affirmation is, I am guided in my every step by spirit who leads me towards what I must know and do. I just picked a crystal card. Amber. Fossilized tree sap and not technically a stone. Amber has been on Mother Earth for thousands of years. Its warm, fiery color brings on feelings of peacefulness and inner warmth. It has a grounding energy that keeps you and helps you look inward. Amber is today's crystal.
to go as an opportunity Today I see each obstacle 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 Today, today, today Today your eyes. Stretch out your legs and let your arms fall gently alongside your body. Palms up. Take a deep breath through your nose and hold it for just a moment and then exhale deeply. Relax your jaw and continue the deep breathing. 
in and out through your nose. Let your mind become aware of your feet. Feel a golden soft glow begin to enter your feet. Let it fill your feet with warmth and relaxation. Let your feet just fall where they naturally want to. Let them go. Now feel that soft golden light begin to move up into your ankles. Feel your ankles become warm and relaxed. Let the muscles in your ankles relax. Just let go. And now feel that soft golden glow begin to move into your calves and shins. Feel your calves as they sink more deeply into the mat beneath you. Let the muscles on top of the shins just relax. Feel them just let go. And now that the soft golden light will move into your knees, let the warmth fill your knees. Let your kneecaps relax. Feel the back of your knees relax. Feel the muscles in your knees relax. Just let them go. Feel the warmth begin to move up into your thighs. Let the big muscles in your thighs relax. Let the warmth drip down from the tops of your thighs and ooze into the backs of your thighs. Feel the back of your thighs just sinking into the mat beneath you. Just let them go. Now let the warm golden light move into your hip joints. Let your hips relax. Let the muscles in your groin relax. Feel your buttocks as they sink into the mat. Let those muscles relax. And now let the warmth of the golden light fill your abdomen. Feel a ball of golden light filling your abdominal area. Feel the warmth from the ball of light. Take a deep breath into the ball of golden light and feel it expand. Now let the light move up your spine. Feel it as it bathes each and every one of your vertebrae. Become aware of the sight, lift, and small of your back from the floor. Feel the space there. Feel the warm golden light flow up into your chest. With each breath you take, let your lungs be filled with that warm golden light. And now, let your mind move to your hands. Feel the warm golden light fill each finger. Feel it fill the palm of each hand. Let the golden light begin to move into your wrists and on your forearms. Feel those muscles expand with light. Let your elbows relax. Let the light move into your upper arms and shoulders. Let your shoulder blades relax and ease their way into the mat. Let the light enter your neck. Feel your neck and throat begin to relax. Swallow gently and feel your throat open. Separate your lips slightly and then close them. Let your tongue drop into a relaxed position. Feel the warm golden light as it fills your entire head and face. Let your ears relax. Let your eyes relax. Allow that space between your eyebrows to relax. Let your forehead relax. Let the top of your head relax and just let go. And now that you're completely relaxed, I invite you to join me on a journey. Imagine that you're standing on a path at the edge of a small forest. The bright sun warms your back as you face the opening in the trees. The cool breeze from the forest is inviting you to enter. The path is clear and broad. It, it's easy to follow. And so you step into the forest. All around you, you can hear birds calling to one another. Their sounds are gentle and sweet. It is as if they are encouraging you to take a few more steps into their home. And so you do. The peace in the forest is total. You are aware of small animals around you. You see rabbits and squirrels romping and playing. You can hear the sounds of more birds hidden in the dense canopy of the forest. As you walk on, you begin to hear the sound of running water. 
You can tell that the water is gentle when you walk towards the direction of the sound. As you walk, you can feel the leaves under your feet and the small branches and roots on the ground. It feels good to have your feet touching Mother Earth and you let the gentle voice of the water call you on. Shortly, in front of you opens a little clearing in the forest and in the middle of the clearing is a small pool. The pool is being fed from a stream cascading down a small rocky slope. As the pool is filled to overflowing, the water leaves the pool on the other side and continues its journey back into the forest. Here in the clearing, there's some rocks where you can sit. The rocks are warm with the sun as its rays make their way down from the opening of treetops. You can walk to the largest of rocks and take a seat on it. It is as if the rock were just made for you to sit on. It cradles your body and holds you steady, and you just sit there for a few moments in silence, listening to the sounds of the forest and the water all around you. Your eyes are closed and your heart is full of joy. In a few moments, you begin to sense the gentle presence of another being in front of you. You open your eyes, standing about six feet from you is a beautiful doe, her limpid brown eyes resting on you. She is completely at ease, and so are you. For some minutes, you sit enthralled by this gentle creature just looking at you as if she loves you. She is so calm and assured in your presence that even her ears are still and you are so in awe of her presence that your gaze cannot leave hers. It seems that she's brought a message for you, and across the space between the two of you, she is sending you that message. Somehow you become aware of the message and are ready to receive it from her. Open your heart now and receive her message. Your heart is filled to overflowing with love. You're feeling in her message. She stands there for a few moments longer. Then she gently closes her eyes, opens them again for one last look at you, turns around and slowly walks into the forest. You sit for a moment longer, simply integrating into your being the message she brought you, and then rise from your spot on the rock, move gently back into the path, and walk in slowly and calmly back to the edge of the forest where you first stepped upon the path. With each step you take, you find yourself coming back into your conscious awareness of the room around you. Begin to notice your surroundings. You feel the floor under your body slowly move your hands and feet. And now you have returned to complete consciousness. Your message from the forest has been integrated into your being and you will take that message with you back into your daily life. And so it is. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. That is the card that I picked at random today. So, before looking to see what 
dominion is in the book. On, on a throne is a crow with its wing extended and a crown. There's a cherry blossom above her head, blooming, and a rose bush with red and yellow roses. There's a crow above her, a tree, and a sword. Seems like she feels proud. She's with her wing out. The Queen of Swords is one tough bird. She's confident, independent, and wise. Her quick wit, sharp intellect, and a clear vision of what the future should look like have garnered the respect of all those around her. Flying above her throne is a crow symbolizing her ability to see the big picture. When the Queen of Swords pays a visit, it may indicate a time when a stern, well-calculated, and sensible solution is required. She may also appear as a mentor or teacher who inspires the best work from her students. The Queen of Swords card denotes time when an impartial view is required to make the best decision. Queen of Swords.
Mystics, and we are live on Miami Community Radio. Um, I did not pick one of these cards, so let's see what kitty cat we get today. Okay, so we got three of wands. So cute, a cat is looking into the horizon with his tail wrapped around what looks like a post. But signifies a wand and there's earth air and water signs on these wands and there are two boats in the water three of wands three of wands actively waiting for your tree to bear fruit this cat is waiting for all of its work to show results. And when you work on loving yourself, loving others, and appreciating what you have around you, your own tree will bear fruit. Thank you so much for watching my improvised sound healing program here on Miami Community Radio. And if you wanna remember something from today, just remember, that you are guided in your every step by spirit who leads you toward what you know and what you must do. Bye everyone.
Are you falling to the Are you adding to the sea? Are you Are you Are you reality? Are you reality? Yeah.